I know they're gonna tell me, oh yeah, just be abstinent, and when you guys don't listen to me, here you go. Hey y'all, this your girl, Javon Cam Janae. I'm coming back to you guys with another video. As you guys can see by the title, you'll see exactly what this video is about. I have all the tips, the tricks, the... I just got the tea. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, it's that beautiful red subscribe button for more videos like this. This is the first video in my back to school series. And if there's any other type of videos, don't forget to hit me up on my social medias. And I'll have them flashing on the screen and also linked below. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. I do have my cards. As you can see by the cards, this is five things that you need to know for your sexual health. Yes, I said it. I know they're going to tell me, oh yeah, just be abstinent. And when you guys don't listen to me, here you go. All right. Tip number one. And this is for people that are either sexually active right now or you're thinking about it. Um, I'm going to tell you first and foremost, yes, be abstinent. If you're not ready, if you are a virgin, don't feel like... Oh, I'm going to high school, I gotta sleep around, or oh, I'm going to college, this is new experiences. Now, it is your prerogative to do what you do, but understand, please understand, if you aren't ready, it is completely, completely, completely fine to not be ready. Um, people do wait till marriage to have sex, if that is what you feel compelled to do, if that's what your belief system is. Please do that. Don't let any relationship um, hinder you to do that. Um, also, I would make sure that what you're doing, you know exactly what you're doing. You know who you're sleeping with. I know there's girls out there that just sleep with anybody, one night stands and all that other stuff. Not that that is something I recommend. I don't condemn people who do that, but that's just not something that I do. Um... I know this is like dummy cliche, but like, make sure you love that person. Make sure you care for that person and make sure that furthermore, make sure they love and care for you back. Cause you know, um, in college and in high school, you know, you'll have that boy that people think, oh yeah, he really loves her and he's not loving her. He's not doing none of that. He just trying to get the cookie and that's it. So, um, be completely sure who you are are sleeping with and if you're not ready that is completely fine y'all didn't see love and hip-hop being a virgin is cool uh that girl tokyo please 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 make sure um as far as those type of things also know that your first time is not like you see in the movies it's not like steamy and passionate it ain't none of that okay sis what they say that it hurts you may bleed all that i'm being serious this goes back to like who you're with you could have somebody who you have sex with for the first time and bada bing bada boom they quick pumper it's your first time it's over with it hurt they didn't take their time it's one of those that's why you have to be completely sure who you're sleeping with and if you already lost your virginity it is okay you could reclaim yourself sis reclaim Reclaim yourself and just vow like, hey, even if you've been with X, Y, amount of Z, about guys, that's not here nor there. Make sure, always just make sure that, you know, the the men that you sleep with or the boys from people in high school that you sleep with from here on out or just the one man or the one boy, um, that you make sure that you are cared for. All right, now let's get into it, into it. These are the trips drink water and i mean like don't just drink don't just drink like eight teacups a day and think you're cool like we live in a day and age where i know people who don't drink water and i'm pretty sure their insides taste like battery acid and mountain dew y'all don't be that person and that's good just for your your vaginal health can we say vaginal on youtube I don't know. That's just good for down there. Now, anybody who knows about any type of anything that happens with your pretty pearl or whatever we want to call it, then you know that um, yeast can sometimes build up down there. Please drink water. The more water you drink, 
then you prevent those type of things. Not saying that it's not completely normal that you will have discharge and things like that, but if you're if you're not drinking water, it's gonna taste like, or it's not just be taste like, it's gonna feel like battery acid in Mountain Dew. And that goes into my next thing. Make sure you're eating clean. Um, I know when I my first year of college, I stayed in the dorms. I didn't really have control too much control of what I ate simply because um, I was. I mean, I lived on campus, so of course when the cafeteria was open, um, we did have like salad bars. So I made sure to always get the salad and always eat the salad um, and things like that. But Please, 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 please make sure that you are getting, you are eating right. And I'm talking about like minimum sugar. So don't just be binging on candy. Limit your drinking. Even if it's too, I, anytime I drank in college, it was limited to the weekend on very special occasions. So it didn't happen often. I think it only happened on my 21st birthday and my cousin's 26th birthday. So please limit that because number two um the freshman 15 just a side note is completely real i think i gained the freshman 20 that is real it happens and it my my college didn't have like a no state-of-the-art gym or nothing like that so we had to depend on outside and when it got cold trying to exercise in the dorm sucked so yeah don't don't be consuming them calories because it affects your health Number three, I know y'all seen this so many times on YouTube, but, and people said it, probably your mom said it, your grandma, all that other stuff. Y'all, stop washing your kitty with uh, Bath and Body Works, please. Um, get a very mild soap. Um, people didn't say Cetaphil. Um, I buy the soap from, what is it, from Walmart? The vaginal wash or the feminine wash, that's what it's called. Um, just a very mild soap go in there. Now, never, 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 never take no washcloth and stick it up your vagina and wash up there. Don't do that. That's the part that they say cleans itself. But don't just think that your folds don't get dirty. Also, if you are having sex, don't forget to pee after it's over. Don't think that you shouldn't. You definitely should. Um, and, and, and on that note... Also, please, please, always wrap up. Always. I know people be like, I'm on birth control. No. Sis, you don't know who you're sleeping with. You could love that person. And that person could be lying to you, telling you that they, they clean and stuff. Unless you go on with them. And a lot of times you won't even know because HIPAA gets violated. Wrap, make that man or that boy or whoever wrap up. Please. Don't. STDs are so real. And if you go to school in the South, like, or anywhere, AIDS and HIV, I'm not talking about even just them curable STDs. I'm talking about, like, AIDS, HIV, things that can take your life. And if thing, if those STDs, or what they call now, STIs, if those things stay in your body for a long amount of time, they will have effects on you. And even, even without, what is it, symptoms. So, please... Please, please wrap up. Y'all not married. Well, in this case, unless you be with somebody and then when you get married, it's, a, it's against the law not to have a have all these things ran in front of your spouse or whatever. But please, 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 please make this young dude or this man wrap up for your safety. And I'm even talking to dudes too. For your safety, wrap up. You know, you could be sleeping with somebody who... Who has been with multiple partners or just been with one partner and they contracted something and you wouldn't know and a lot of times they don't know so please wrap up until there are some scans ran and stuff I'm telling people wrap up until they married okay okay and then when you marry do what you want to do but please don't wrap up okay Tip number, I don't know if this is tip number three or tip number four, but always in that case scenario, always go get tested. Always go get tested. I'm not saying always, but like every three months, especially if you are sexually active and especially sexually active with multiple partners. Now, if you are just dating and, and it's in your prerogative to sleep with whoever you want to sleep with, and that goes for men and women, but 
getting tested regularly is something that you should do just schedule that appointment you can go to the clinic you can go to Planned Parenthood you can go to your your primary care physician you can even go to on campus and get tested if you're in college um go on campus and get tested um getting tested is something just at a certain age when you are active that you is part of your normal checkup you go to your doctor you get checked for everything uh hiv stds and things like and aids and things like that so make that part of your just make it part of your thing but please y'all that's a huge key major key alert um please 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 go get tested for your sanity so you can know so your partner can know so you guys don't have an issue back to my um ladies about the health of your kitty down there now if you do notice like an itch and because you do get bacteria not even bacteria yeast that is not bad you could just have an overproduction of yeast now um, from what my doctor told me, coconut oil is a good bacteria. So when you feel very raw down there, just take some coconut oil. First, first what you should do, not just coconut oil, apple cider vinegar, take some apple cider vinegar, dilute it. Don't just put raw and put it on like a, like one of these, like a cotton round, put it on a cotton round and you know, rub down there it might sting a little bit. Fan it so it stops stinging, and then take some coconut oil, which is good bacteria. Uh, the apple cider vinegar, uh, kind of dilute it, please. Don't don't be in the video talking about she putting raw. Don't do that. Mm 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 mm. Cause you won't have nothing down there after a while. You won't even have no skin down there. You put it down there raw. But uh, you take some diluted apple cider vinegar, wipe it down there. That kills if there is a topical infection and then the apple cider vinegar is good bacteria that you rub down there it'll stop all that uh that's just a remedy that my doctor told me instead of just buying all like you know piling a bunch of those like cream those creams on down there now but if you do have a persistent itch definitely take go to your doctor um or if that's something that you can't do you're embarrassed um, please go to your local clinics. Clinics and pen, Planned Parenthood are really good at keeping your information confidential. I mean, all doctors are, but if you're like on your parents' insurance or something like that, go to the clinic, go to, even like in, in people's city, I know like when I spend time in Denver, there is like a, a clinic that says STD testing center. And you go in there, it's a, it's a very no questions asked. I would just Google it. Um... I'm sure they're on Google. Just Google it, STD testing center in my area. And there are doctors in there. Um, volunteer. It's a no questions asked. Make sure you go in there and do that. Also, a good tip is cranberries. I don't have the bottle, but usually cranberry comes into a, like a bottle like this. Um, it's a vitamin. I recommend the vitamin because people get like, what's it called? Ocean spray cranberry. I'm not talking about that. Ocean spray is filled with so much sugar, which ha is bad for your diet and bad for your vaginal health. That um, you should definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, I would take it in a peel form, just like it, it looks, just kind of like this. If you get it from Walmart, and or it comes in even a gummy. That way, I'm not sure what cranberry does, but if you look it up. I know cranberry. I can't tell you exactly. I've looked it up. My doctors also recommended that to me. So definitely um, get some cranberry. It just helps with the, like I said, it's a bacteria down there inside inside that. Um, you're producing bacteria. That's what that yeast is. A good bacteria. So cranberry just helps keep your urinary tract clean. That's what it does. All right, y'all, so this is all for this video. I hope these tips definitely helped you. Please, 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 please remember that it is, please, safe sex is good sex, okay? And also, like I said, if you plan to stay abstinent until you are married, please, and you've made that commitment to yourself, do not let any boy deter you from that. Please don't. Like, seriously, don't, don't let them decide differently for you. You make those decisions, okay? Stay beautiful, y'all.